So here's how we install the Apex Investing Toolkit for Metastock. Start by clicking the Install button here. When you do, your browser will ask you if you really want to run the file. And I'm in, they're all a little bit different, but I'm in Internet Explorer, and in Internet Explorer, all I have to do is press Run. Soon you'll get this security warning box. Click the Install button and then wait for the download to proceed. At various times during the installation progress, you're going to get security uh, warnings and checks from Windows or from your antivirus programs, asking you whether you really want to install the program or allow it to run. Of course, every time you see these warnings, you have to click yes or allow. As the download completes now, I get the first of these warnings on my computer. I'm using Windows 8 and it looks like this. If you're using Windows 7 or XP, it'll look slightly different, but you can figure it out. For myself on Windows 8, I have to click More Info and then click Run Anyway. After the program starts up, we'll notice a couple of things. First of all, obviously it has started. And second, we have a new red icon on the desktop. From now on, to access the Metastock Toolkit, all you have to do is click this icon. You never have to go back to the website. The other thing you have noticed is that there is a login window asking for your Apex Investing Account details. Now, at the moment, sometimes that login window will actually appear underneath the Toolkit window, which could be confusing until you move the Toolkit window and see the login window. Now, we're going to fix that very soon, but for now, please forgive us and just have a little patience to look under the window for it if it can't be seen. Now, I log in with my Apex Investing account and click Login. So shortly after I've logged in, the Install button here will become enabled. There we go. So I click the Install button and we'll spend a couple of moments waiting for it to download the latest version of the toolkit for Metastock. Once the installation has been complete, we're presented with a launch button. You can go ahead and click your launch button if you like, but I'm not going to click mine because I just want to show you how the toolkit installer works next time I start it. So I'm going to close mine and then restart it by clicking this icon on my desktop. When it starts the next time, after a little while, these buttons become enabled. The repair button lets me just make sure that I haven't corrupted my installation accidentally sometimes. Um, perhaps if you were you know, playing around with your file system, you could have corrupted the installation, and this will let you fix it. At other times, when we've launched a, a new upgrade, this, this button will say Upgrade, and it'll be compulsory to upgrade to the latest version. The launch button just lets me launch it, so I'll click launch now and start it. The first thing it does is it logs me in using the Apex Investing account. And then as soon as it's finished that, it will download some information about the various instruments we use. And then it will log into Metastock itself. So this is it trying to connect to your Metastock data connection. If your data connection isn't set up, then our toolkit can't work properly. Okay, mine is connected now, and right now we don't have any trading plans up for Thursday. So I click the left arrow to see Wednesdays. And we can see that Wednesday's trading plans have appeared here, and that there's options to select instruments, show charts, and show alerts. But those are topics for another video. The most important thing you should know right now is that you can click this link to get help. 